All right, a lot of our puppies will fit with a head halter. A head halter would be a better choice to use if the puppy's doing a lot of pulling, if they're eating stuff off the ground, if they're jumping or using their mouth inappropriately on the handle. Uh, I'm going to just demonstrate the process for introducing this. This actual uh, head halter device is something that we're testing here at Leader Dogs, so it's not available for racers at this time, but it's a nice visual. I thought it would be an easy way to show you what a puppy often does when you put something on their nose. So again, just like with the harness, I'm going to pair this going over Davy's head with a cookie. This is very similar to the nose loop leash that we use, uh, which our dog care team uses uh, all over our campus and also our instructor team. This just makes a little figure eight over his nose. So again, even though he's been introduced to this, I think this is his fourth time, um, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a treat. And so you can see this is something that goes over his nose, just like the walk and train head halters that your counselor might have available to give to you or you might get at a training weekend or from puppy development. And again, so this is the access part of the, the leash. This is a little different in that it comes uh, behind the ear instead of underneath here, but I want it to be fairly, fairly snug on his nose. So uh, I'd also give him a couple treats for wearing this. And then we're going to show you what it looks like when he walks with it.